Yo, 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 it's your boy for show sure coming through the door, giving you everything you need and more. Come to holler at y'all real quick. Shannon Sharpie did it again. He got another one that's about to go viral. Tyrese, he was on here speaking on the Cat Williams interview. And I agree with everything he's saying here, man. We're going to play a little bit up. We're going to come back, give a little commentary. If y'all know for show sure, TV, I don't hold y'all long. We get straight to the point. Fair use. Fair use, fair use. All people, we have gotten so used to the lie. The truth is uncomfortable. Mm. He spoke his truth. Yes. He didn't speak my truth. He didn't speak your truth. He spoke his truth. So we're clear. Yes. I'm not saying the cat told the truth. Right. And I'm not being politically correct. If I wanted to go at anybody that Cat Williams went at, I'll do it because right. I'm crazy <laughs> and I speak my mind. Right. Cat did a great job of exposing all that he wanted to expose during his interview. He spoke his truth. He shed light on things that he wanted to talk about and address. And then everything else that happened followed. See, we live in a world right now where you fell in love with David Copperfield. You fell in love with the smoke. You have fell in love with who people appear to be. Do you know what the fuck a magician is? Mm -hmm. They got hand movement. Slide of hand. More smoke. Smoke. They don't want you to see the truth. They don't want to expose what's actually being said, what's actually being done, what's actually going on. And so the world has gotten used to the lie. So the truth goes. Yo, yo, I'm not even trying to make this about me. If you see my video from yesterday, I said the exact same thing he said. Viral. Couples goes. Check out my Corey Hogan videos. I said the exact same stuff. Won't be couples goals if them niggas upload well, not them this. arguing every goddamn not day. This, not this, not this. But we're going to stop it right there. But he spoke on the Cat Williams situation. And I agree with what he's saying, man. People are sensitive. You can't tell the truth no more. He told his truth. And it's still happening to this day. Nobody said he was lied on. Nobody said he lied on. They call him crazy, whatever, whatever. Ain't nobody. Steve Harvey talking about he didn't knock him out. You still ain't say he lied on you. Come on, man. Do you say he ain't got nothing going for him? There's not a person in the world that think you funnier than Cat Williams, Steve Harvey. We're going to leave that there. That's neither here nor there. Just met you, right? Right. Hear me. As a black man talking to a black man, there is literally... It's going to make some of y'all so uncomfortable. There is literally nothing about your success, your handsome, your muscles, your career, anything that you're doing. There is nothing about who you are, what you've done, what you've achieved, and what, what God is doing, has done, and about to do that will ever have me lose a sleep at night, my brother. We're going to get back to it in a second. That's how it should be, man. Should nobody... Hate on nobody. But due to the world we live in, that's not possible and it won't be possible. But I don't never hate on nobody's success, man. And me just doing this YouTube, I just see a lot of stuff, man. The people who like locally, they, yeah, you see a lot of stuff, man. And I didn't support so much stuff, people around here, man, no matter what they was doing, whether it was like food or they selling stuff, stuff for kids. No matter what it was, what it was, they come up with with some new thing. They come with, you know, what I'm saying I got people that I ain't gonna go into it, but whatever come across my table, I support it, no problem, and it don't happen in return. So I know what he's saying, but let's get back to it. No should it? It does. So the moral of that is. Don't hate on nobody's success. Find out a way to get your own. For a lot of people. Because my thing is, Tyrese. That's why they in your comments talking shit about your life. 
They want them Cat Beat Williams numbers so bad. That's what it's going They want them numbers. Even your racist ass old co host, <laughs> whoever he is, where is he? You got that oil on you, bruh. Skip, where you at? Oh. What was that big in? No. That oil is uncomfortable, Shay. But let me ask you this. And that orange backpack, but... You, know, you like that? You like that? I mean... <laughs> but let let me, somebody else put that orange ugly. That bag no, is no, ugly, no. by the way. No, it ain't. That, that, well, actually, it's all right. Yeah. But let somebody else put that thing on. They're not going to go viral. Let somebody Fat else... Joe, have, Fat, Joe got, Fat Joe had it on. Two Chains got okay. it. There are a lot of guys got it. That's right. And, oh, there's a, and, and, got and, one. and there's a lot of niggas that interviewed Cat Williams before you. And a lot of niggas tried to milk... Oh, y'all don't want me to say that shit. Why did y'all interview Cat Williams after Shay shit? Y'all want them numbers, but y'all not gonna get them numbers. <clears throat> That's last it's day to this day. If it's about an interview and him being raw and unfiltered and telling people how he feel about what he see and what he feel and what his truth is, why did nobody else do the numbers? Because they, they, they ain't got that oil on them. Hey, man. They ain't got that oil and they don't want to tell the truth. The truth is what goes viral now. He ain't Shannon and them niggas definitely ain't sharp. <laughs> I'm gonna walk out of this. <laughs> Come on, man. I, 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 believe, I believe it because so, so believe now, it. now you Oprah. No, no. I'm sorry, Oprah. Whatever. <laughs> now you Oprah because here's the thing. Why are you doing Oprah numbers, Shannon? Because God. Why? Why Gail King ain't doing these numbers after she interviewed Cat? Oil. Favor ain't fair, my brother. You can't explain it. Shane. I can't. I can't. It's the timing. It's the oil. It's the favor. It's the specific hand that's on your life. If they keep losing sleep over my gifts, motherfucker, you never gonna wake up. So, so what he's saying is, worry about your own. You shouldn't be going to sleep thinking about nobody else. That's not your family. You're a significant other. In other words, them trying to be successful while trying to make me unsuccessful because they didn't put me thrusting you. Your haters will become your congratulators. And the more stones they throw at your ass, your mansion will get bigger. That private plane. Oh, no, 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 black plane. You got a private Hell no. It's coming. No, I'm. You might not be interested. Okay, I'm going to speak. I want a private plane. Okay, there you, you go. Me, you, you, might might power in the tongue. you might not be interested. Mm -hmm. I'm tired of niggas recognizing me walking through the airport. <laughs> I'm tired of wearing masks and having to hide. I'm tired of these motherfuckers canceling flights, and I want to know my pilot by his first name. I want to send a nigga some gifts, because I like him. Well, you better go get Delta one of private suites. No, man, fuck that. <laughs> I want my own plane, and it's coming. And if they lose their sleep, Rather, my cars are leased or I own them. They're going to keep losing sleep over this oil over my life. When you get that private plane, can I hit you right back to LA? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. I got you because we're about to do some numbers. Okay. <laughs> Show TV, the best TV, man. Shouts out to Tyrese, man. That's a good interview, man. Y'all go check that out, man. Shouts out to Club Shay Shay, man. Doing your thing out here in this interview world. So they're going to keep hating on you, keep doing what you're doing. I don't got no problem with your interviews. You let people, you give people a comfortable space to say what they say. And they have no idea what questions you're going to ask them. And you ask them and let them talk. You're not one of those those people that when they talk, you're trying to cut them off. and you, You're not trying to be the star of the show. Now, you're going to interject sometimes and ask a question, with, you know, but no, nah, overall, you let people have a space to talk. That's why it's successful. So, shouts out to you, man. Show TV the best TV. Let's do some numbers then. <laughs>